Hi, I'm Jesse and you're watching Now You Know. Zach's on vacation, so we're going to have to take a look at the Grove week one by ourselves. Alright, so last week, just as a refresher, we added the water from our old grove, we added the fish from our old grove, and we planted some seeds in the seeding tray behind me. These microgreens took about three days to sprout and now they're ready to eat. It's important to make sure that your pumps are running as this sort of relax the roots a little bit, but all you have to do is just sort of give them a little bit of a tug and they come right out, so easy. So now it's really simple, all you gotta do is sort of just cut off the roots. Um, you can eat the roots, but sometimes they have little bits of gravel in there that might not be that pleasant. And then you can take your microgreens, put them in a damp paper towel and store them for later. Maybe put them in a soup or a salad. Um, or if you're really hungry, you could just... It's a lot of flavor especially for only three days. It's kind of important to pluck them out now when they're at this stage, easy to sort of pull out. If you wait too long, they become macro greens. They're not that appetizing and they're almost impossible to pull out. So just sort of take your time and pluck them out now. Save them because they are yummy. So next on the agenda for today is to test the bacteria and pH levels of our growth. So the Grove app makes this pretty simple. All we have to do is basically uh, tell it that we want to do a test and it will remind us what the proper procedure is. Um, and then we just have to match the color to whatever our test tube is and that will tell us the concentration of that chemical. So first we're going to test for ammonia, then we're going to test for nitrite and then nitrate. And what that's going to tell us is how many bacteria are in our Grove and how well they're doing at breaking down the fish waste into valuable, nutritious nitrates for our plants. Okay, so I'm just filling up our test tubes here with water from our grove. And this is what we're gonna be doing the tests on. It's important to make sure that the white line is where the water level goes up to. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add the drops to each of the test tubes. And then the chemicals inside of these bottles are gonna start doing their magic and letting us know what different concentrations of chemicals we have inside of our grove. All right, so we've taken about five minutes for the chemicals in the test tubes to react with the water to change colors. And now we're gonna use the colors to let us know what's going on inside our growth. Okay, so the first thing that we're testing for is ammonia. Now ammonia is what your fish produce when they poop. That is fish waste and that is the start of the process. So I'm just gonna take a reading here. Uh, it looks to be about 0.5 parts per million. Okay, so now let's go on to the next one. Nitrites are the next step in breaking down ammonia or fish waste into nitrates that your plants can eat. All right, so let's take a quick reading here. It's pretty dark, there's a lot of nitrates there, let's see. I'd say it's a uh, two parts per million. And then last is the final step in the process, the nitrates. So this is what your plants will actually eat. Nitrates are the food. It's in fertilizer, it's in all sorts of stuff. Um, basically it's decomposed plant matter or in this case fish waste. And so this is what our plants are gonna eat. So I'm gonna say it's 20 parts per million. So this is great. Um, our grove is very fertile. It has a lot, of, a lot of stuff that plants love in it right now. Okay, so the last test we do is pH. I'm gonna say this is about 7.0. So that means that this is a perfect range for happy fish. Awesome. So I just wanna show you here that you actually get a little graph of um, how your pH is doing. So you can see it went up and then it's, it's coming back down, which is great. And then we can also check that out for the bacteria levels. As you can see, the ammonia sort of had a little spike at the beginning and then the nitrites came up really quickly and the nitrates also came up really quickly. And that's pretty much just what we wanna see. Although right now we don't have that many plants that are gonna be absorbing those nutrients and we wanna make sure that they don't build up too much or that could hurt our fish. 
Okay, so next for on the agenda today is we're gonna plant some seeds in our seedling tray. So I'm just gonna go down the steps here. First step is find the seed plugs and submerge them in the aquarium. So I'm gonna go do that now. All right, so I almost totally forgot where I put the core plugs. Um, they're in this really nice storage area down here. Um, and I completely forgot that they were there. I'm just not used to having such great storage in this, so great job, Grove team. Step one, grab the seed plugs and submerge them in the aquarium. All right, let's do it. All right, so these are the seed plugs. I'm gonna add them into the aquarium right now to let them soak. All right, so we're gonna use four core pots just for starters. I wanna try uh, four seedlings, uh, see how they do. All right, so I'm soaking these core pots. Fish don't seem to mind them too much. They seem a little interested in maybe eating them. Okay, step two is to find the seed packets that we wanna use. I'm gonna use uh, kale and basil. These are the ones that they recommend, so let's give it a shot. Okay, step three is to shake out some of the seeds onto a sheet of paper. Let's start with the basil. So you wanna put them on the paper because they're easier to spot. All right, step four, remove a seed plug from the water and insert a seed into the hole on the top of the plug. Return the rest of the seeds to the seed packet. Okay, sounds cool, let's do it. So I'm gonna go for two basil plants. So let me grab one of these little guys, grab the core plug and pop it right in the top. And he's in there. Excellent. And now to do the same thing with the kale. Come on. Oh, geez. These guys are moving. One. Two. All right, and that was the kale. Okay, step five. Um, take the basil and pop it in these holes and push down as far as it'll go to get rid of all the spaces. One and two. Done and done. Okay, so now I've got my seedling trays with my seedlings in them. I'm gonna pop these right back in here in the seedling area. And there's room for a bunch more seedlings. I just wanna sort of start out slow. So we'll see how they do in a little bit. Just realized I didn't have my seedling uh, tray lights on, so now they're gonna be getting enough sunlight. Sunlight. Okay, and last but certainly not least step is to feed our fishies here. So let's give them some food. Uh, so this one's Princess, because she's got the prettiest tail. Um, this one's Gary, he has a mustache. I don't know if you can see. Maybe you can zoom in on him later. Um, this one's Whitey Bulger, he's white. That's why I named him that. Oh yeah, and there's Nemo. Oh, come back, there's Nemo. He's the only minnow that survived. By the way, this one's Squidward. Uh, because he likes to sulk at the bottom of the tank. Thank you for watching this episode of Now You Know. If you have any questions about Grove, please leave them in the comments down below. We're also gonna post a link to Grove's website down there, um, so you can definitely check it out. We have lots of other videos for you to check out um, and lots more coming, so definitely hit that subscribe button and you know, just look forward to hearing from you guys in the future. Bye.